Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to be back. I just got home from a trip to Miami. It was a very inspiring weekend and I can't wait to share what I did and learned this past weekend. I also came home to a bunch of fun goodies so I've got a few purchases that I made as well as some PR and I thought I would throw in a few of my travel essentials since I have been doing a bit more travel. So and if you're interested in seeing my haul video, learning a little bit about my Miami trip as well as a few little items that I think are important for travel, then let's go ahead and get started. Oh my goodness, I feel like it has been a bit since I have been able to connect with you guys. I have missed you and hope everybody is doing well. I went down to Miami to connect with my sister Susan, who is becoming a health coach as well. And we were going to the Institute for Integrative Health conference. I have been to one of these conferences about a decade ago, about 10 years ago. So it was so much fun to reconnect with my sister who I haven't seen in a few years. And we got to go to this amazing conference and be inspired and learn by all the amazing speakers that we saw. So at the conference, the founder of the Institute for Integrative Health is Joshua Rosenthal, and he's very inspiring and just very real. I love him. And then we also got to get inspired by Dr. Weil. I love him. He was one of my teachers when I went to nutrition school. Dr. Amen, who is all about brain health. And I have to say he was one of the highlight speakers of the event. He was so charismatic and fun as a speaker. Just really enjoyed his lecture. Then the next day we got to hang out with Deepak Chopra. He was at my previous conference so it was so cool to see his work again, get inspired by him, as well as Gabby Bernstein. If you're not familiar with her, she's amazing. So the whole weekend was just super energizing, so inspiring. I learned so much and I'm just so excited to be implementing that with my clients in my health coaching business. I also got asked to be interviewed and filmed about my own business and experience. So that was a little nerve wracking, but fun as well. So I survived that and I think it turned out pretty good. So that was also another highlight of the trip. So I'm jazzed about that. And then I also got to spend some time exploring Miami and I have completely fallen in love with it. It has been many years since I have been there and I have to say I find it to be a very eclectic, very cool city. So Susan and I stayed in South Beach where the conference was. We were able to get up early, go to the beach, and of course the water is warm there, which I am not familiar with since I live on the West Coast and we have beautiful beaches and such out this way. But yes, this is the Pacific Ocean, which is going to be cooler. And I always forget that the Atlantic Ocean, the water is going to be warm where you actually want to go in and get in the water. So I had the best time walking the beach. That always fills up my soul. The minute I put my feet in the sand, I just feel this like, ah, moment. <laughs> And so we just had so much fun as well as doing some shopping and I just feel like we just scratched the surface. So this is going on the list. As you know, my husband and I are now empty nesters and are starting to put feelers out as to where we may want to land in the future. And Miami is going on the list because it just had this very eclectic 
feel to it. Like I love the vibes, the live and let live vibe. And I actually did pretty well with the hot and humid weather, which I did used to live in when I lived in New Orleans. It all came back to me. You get that natural dewy skin. But yes, if I moved to Florida, I'd have to pretty much revamp my whole makeup routine and my wardrobe. So that was kind of fun to see the different fashion. And I don't know how you ladies do it down there with your hair because my hair is actually naturally wavy and the humidity and my hair never look good. So, so that was the one funny thing is my hair just kind of went poof when I was there. Just all that humidity likes to let the natural wave get a little out there. And now I am back home catching up and I've got some fun goodies to share with you. So now right before I left, the Shantakai Summer 2022 collection showed up and it was like, perfect for my trip. So number one came in this cute electric, I would say lime green little travel case, which I did take with me to Miami. And literally it came with the perfect product to take to Miami. And this is the Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Shade. And this is this all-in-one my favorite gel formula and it is for the cheeks and eye and it is in the perfect color ray. So you guys, this is a yes, yes, yes. This is what I took with me and wore throughout the trip. Let me give you a little swatch. I am in love. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. Here is the color ray. It is a warm glistening copper, perfect for summer. And I'm personally a huge fan of the gel to powder formula in Shantakai products, such as my favorite bronzer, Real Bronze and Goa. That again is in this gel to powder formula. And this was the perfect makeup to take with you because it is one and done. So I would take this and I would put it on my eyes. Again, you guys, this is what I'm wearing this morning here. And then I would put some on my cheeks for a lovely, healthy glow. And then they launched two lip tint moisturizing balms. I love that formula and they have two amazing colors, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this on my cheeks so you can see that. Again, this is what I'm wearing on my eyes with a little eyeliner and mascara super quick and easy travel makeup. And I'm gonna go ahead and sweep a little bit of this on my cheeks for you. And you guys, it is so pretty and it is perfect because it is like almost like a blush bronzer highlighter all in one. And it just gives you this really pretty bronze look on the cheeks. And then it comes in these two beach ready balms. One of them is in Sunflower and that one is a sheer soft mocha. And then the other is in Marigold, which is your perfect dusty rose. And I love both of them. I think I might love Marigold the best, but I will show you them both. And here's a swatch of Ray. Isn't that just the prettiest color? So this was like perfection down in Miami. This is giving you the kind of golden goddess glow look. And let me go ahead and give you a little lip swatch of these two. This is the shade Sunflower. And then I have the shade Marigold. And this is the shade Marigold. 
this is pretty much what I wore daily when I was down in Miami and then I would add a little bit of mascara and eyeliner and I do want to give a shout out because I have fallen in love with the Chanel these precision eye definer eyeliners and I picked it up in the shade blue jean and black jade and I absolutely feel like everybody needs them in their collection and I just really liked pairing this really pretty copper shade with a little pop of color from that blue jade and that blue jean. Today I am actually wearing black jade with the Ray eyeshadow. So just super easy summer makeup that was perfect for Miami. Now speaking of sunshine, I did get a bunch of super goop sunscreen sent to me. I have a whole video coming up about the line, but it was the perfect chance for me to take all of those sunscreens down there and really try them out because of course I was going to protect my skin while I was in the sunshine. So two products that I do want to mention today are, are the Super Goop. This is the Glow Screen and you guys, this one really gives you some glow on the skin and then also the CC screen and this is an SPF of 50 and what I would do is mix both of these together and just use that as my foundation when I was there and so this is another one of these great kind of summer combos where maybe we don't want to be wearing a foundation but we do want to be wearing a little bit of coverage with a CC cream as you know where this is going we're going to be doing a battle of the CC creams so hold on for that it is coming but I did just pick up this one and I wanted to give it a try and include it in that battle so these are two new items that I am in love with and I just wanted to show you the glow screen does have a little natural tint to it um, and this is very glowy I do feel like I need to cut it with a little something else but it is really thin in texture and it's a really great sunscreen so I was excited to try that and then the CC cream I actually picked it up in shade 110C so that is the shade right here and and if you mix them together and then if you mix them together I'm hoping you can see it's gonna give your skin a little bit of glow so the CC cream has some really nice coverage I love the fact that it is a all mineral CC cream and that it has an SPF of 50. I also took the glow oil and you guys this is amazing and this is an SPF of 50 gives your skin this really pretty kind of glow but it's not sticky or anything like that so I took that. I also took the resetting spray and this is another product that I think is really important because I'm good about putting sunscreen on in the morning but not not necessarily about reapplying and you definitely need to reapply if you're truly going to protect your skin. Now I was in a conference both days from like nine to five so I did get some sun time in the morning and in the evenings but if I was going to be staying there and just traveling throughout the day I would definitely be needing to use this so I wanted to test that out and I also took this glow stick and stuck it in my purse and this again is really cool because it has a really easy texture. I just want to show you just like go like this. It's actually very cooling on the skin. But again, you can use this as a little touch up. I also took their super goop little mineral powder. So again, I'm going to be doing a whole super goop dedicated video because there's so many great products, but it was really fun to kind of take those products with me and really put them to the test. So, so thank you super goop for sending me those goodies. It could not be better timing. Now, speaking of makeup and traveling, I was asked what my favorite makeup makeup bags are and actually 
my daughter and I just picked up the Vera Bradley. We have two of their makeup travel cases. I was laughing because my mom was a huge Vera Bradley lover. She had all of these things. These are actually my daughter's and I actually took hers. So then I just ordered a set for myself and this is the Vera Bradley. This is the brush lip cosmetic case. And you guys, this holds quite a bit of makeup. And the thing that I love about it is right here, you've got where you can put all of your makeup brushes and it is plastic inside. So if your makeup gets anything, so if you get makeup on here, you can clean it easily. And then inside it holds quite a bit of makeup. It's got a little pouch in here, a couple little pockets. And I just found it to be the perfect size for a cosmetic case. So I got that. So again, this holds quite a bit. I haven't quite unpacked, guys. Here's a little sneak peek at the products I took with me here. And again, they had the brush holders. I've used a few of them, but those are the products that I took with me. And then for skincare, we picked up the large cosmetic bags. And again, lined with a little bit of plastic, so easy to clean up. Has a front little pouch here that I put like my cotton rounds and q-tips and such in the front and I have unpacked most of this in here I still got a few things that I haven't unpacked but it held my entire skincare regimen in this large cosmetic case so if you're looking for some cosmetic travel bags these have been amazing and I thought this was kind of a fun little pattern little splash of florals here but we are getting ready for our next big trip to Europe while I was gone my husband did pick up some luggage so if you guys want me to share that information with you as well he went out and got some hard case luggage that is supposed to be great for travel when you're going to Europe because your bags are going to get banged around a bit. And I know that many of you are traveling as well. So what I will do is I will link the luggage that he just discovered. And if you guys want more information or want me to show you how I'm going to be packing, just let me know because I'd be happy to share. I don't know if it's a tried and true method yet, but I think he did pick up some good luggage for us to take. Nothing too outrageous and he said he got a good deal on it so I'll put that so I'll put that down in the description box below